So good afternoon, everybody. We are going to do introductions. Dr. Desai, would you mind kicking off an introduction about yourself? Sure. Thank you, uh, Drew. <clears throat> so my, my name is Pankaj Desai, and I have had the pleasure of being a University of Cincinnati faculty for the last 26 years. So I always say I'm a proud bear cat for the last 26 years. And overall, I've had an academic career that spans uh, about 30 years now. Uh, my research is in the area of oncology drug development. And in specific, I do what, what's known as pharmacokinetics and drug metabolism kinds of studies that I can talk about later. But uh, back in 2003, with the help of a number of colleagues that you're going to hear from today, we launched this Masters in Drug Development program, which we believe is a first-in-class program that really spans multidisciplinary aspects of discovery to product launch. So from discovery to patient's bedside, how do you actually introduce a new drug, a new drug product, a device? Uh, so that's the curriculum we started back in 2003 and uh, very, very thrilled that a number of my colleagues who are here today have been with us since the inception of the program. And as we'll talk about, a number of students have uh, benefited from the program. Uh, and and uh, hopefully, you know, the program is going to grow in its outreach uh, globally. Thank you, Dr. Desai. Uh, Dr. Dan Shelley, I will pass it over to you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dan Shelley. Uh, I uh, have been, I'm one of those faculty members that have been with the program uh, with Dr. Desai since the beginning. Uh, uh, I'm currently, if you will, my day job is uh, the Vice President of Business Development and Alliances for a company called Prescient Therapeutics, which develops targeted small molecule therapeutics and uh, next generation uh, CAR T, CAR NK. Uh, cell therapies for oncology and autoimmune disease. Uh, I've been in the biotech industry for over 20 years, and then prior to that, uh, I was a postdoc here at the University of Cincinnati, uh, and uh, and then did uh, a PhD and an MBA, or uh, sorry, a, a, a master's uh, in biology uh, prior to that. Thank you, Dr. Dan. Uh, Dr. Brenna Carey, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Brenna Carey. I um, am actually a, a past student or a graduate of the MSDD program. Um, I joined the faculty in 2015, um, but my, I guess, day job is I am um, a research associate at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, where my research focuses on understanding the pathogenesis of rare diseases, um, developing diagnostic assays to identify patients with these rare diseases, and developing therapeutics um, for these patients. Excellent, thank you very much. And Dr. Ajayi Fumini, I'm sorry, I think I yes. mispronounced that, but you can correct me, please. Great job pronouncing it. I'm uh, Fumi Ajayi, and I've been with the program since uh, the beginning, just like Dr. Shelley. I remember Dr. Desai coming to PNG at that time with this brilliant idea, which uh, everybody just, you know, supported. And uh, thankfully, it's actually bloomed to where it is today. My background is in clinical pharmacology, and I have a total of uh, more than 30 years of experience, both within the academic setting, uh, in the industry, and I was at the FDA too. My experience spanned from the drug development area in terms of uh, what the regulatory uh, needs needs to be, uh, to the science of it, especially in the area of clinical pharmacology. And I'm very excited that uh, this program has actually uh, brought about a lot of uh, good uh, students and a lot of uh, opportunities in the field. 
Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Jeff Guo, you're our next. All right, here's Jeff Guo. Um, I joined UC 20 years ago. Uh, now it's a 21st year in UC teaching. Um, I'm one of the professor here. Uh, I joined uh, also um, uh, Dr. Desai. Um, it's uh, 16 years ago. I always say that probably 15, 16 years ago, initiated this uh, MSDD program. Uh, so I'm very uh, honored, uh, happy to uh, teach uh, uh, pharmaceutical economics and the pharmacoepidemiology. We also related to pharmacovigilance, phase four um, research and uh, application. Uh, my personal expertise is the pharmacoeconomics and uh, pharmacoepidemiology drug safety. Before joining UC, I work for the CRO, a clinical contract research organization, as a research manager. I also, uh, before that, I uh, work at the USP, United States Pharmacopeia, as a uh, drug information specialist. Uh, anyway, uh, that that's uh, that's all about me. Thank you very much, Dr. Cindy Rodenberg. Hi, so I'm Dr. Cindy Rodenberg. Uh, this fall will be my third year with the program. I have my PhD in statistics, and so I teach the statistical principles and clinical research course. Uh, I have. Um, I have about 17 years of experience in the clinical and pharmaceutical arena. Um, I worked at the Biostat division at um, IU Medical Center uh, while I was working on my PhD and then at Pfizer and then um, like Fumi, I was at Procter & Gamble. So I was exposed to this course about three years ago from my predecessor. Um, and so I'm just really excited about uh, kind of getting into and able to teach in this pharmaceutical area and, and help the students learn about kind of the appropriate statistics to be using um, for their own research. Thank you very much. Dr. William Seibel. Hi. Um, yeah, so I'm Bill Seibel. I was originally trained as a synthetic and medicinal chemist. And um, as you Heard many people from Procter & Gamble Pharmaceuticals. I spent 19 years there, but left in 2006 to join UC's medical school where they were setting up a, a small drug discovery unit. Really, it was a high throughput screening center, so I helped run that for a while. Um, and it was a collaboration with Children's Hospital, and I guess I've merged from the UC side to the Children's Hospital side, although uh, the research staff here at Children's Hospital are usually joint appointments with, with uh, UC as well. Yes, uh, Dr. Schwinn, uh, if you would, wouldn't mind introducing yourself as well. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Rick Schwinn. Uh, I actually predate Dr. Desai in terms of my role at the UC College of Pharmacy as an adjunct uh, way back to 1996. Um, but uh, that's, that's not necessarily a good thing. No, that, that's actually uh, but, the reason I joined, because Dr. Yeah, Schwinn... Okay. I recruited him. <laughs> no, uh, my background, uh, my degree is in pharmacology. Uh, I joined Procter & Gamble as a toxicologist many years back. Uh, I moved into the regulatory affairs organization there and then at other companies including Kendall International, uh, Paracel International, Osteo Pharmaceuticals, and now I'm uh, independently consulting for strategic regulatory consulting both in the drug and device area uh, in the, in toxicology and in the regulatory aspect. And I, my role in the program is primarily uh, on the preclinical safety uh, of new drug development and essentially teaching the areas that will help students identify and define the preclinical studies required to get a new drug candidate into clinical trial. So that's been my focus. I also teach uh, the course in cosmetic safety uh, in the other uh, division within the uh, College of Pharmacy here. So I'm pleased to be uh, part of this group. Thank you. And it looks like uh, Dr. Nineteen, if you could introduce yourself. Thank you, Drew. 
Uh, so I'm Nitin Bapat, and I've been uh, teaching in this uh, course in the drug uh, and device making uh, portion, and right since inception, I have a degree in pharmace uh, pharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics, and I am doing process design for Procter and Gamble here in Cincinnati, and that is where we got associated with University of Cincinnati's pharmaceutics group because we had a lot of students. Uh, coming to our you know, uh, to the to our pilot plant, and we also had a lot of researchers from our group taking advanced degrees at University of Cincinnati, and we did many projects, and that's where getting introduced to Dr. Desai, and this course as it was coming up, I have been teaching uh, GMP manufacturing, and then we have a group of people who also talk about uh, device manufacturing and uh, regulatory aspects. So it's been uh, quite some time. Thank you very much for all the introductions.